And now news from sports. The Goa State Football Development Council has just got its official status, but more importantly, groundwork would begin in another one to two months. Dr. Montero has said the council's grassroots development program will in no way interfere with Goa Football Association's youth development centres and will reach to places where GFA has not managed to spread its centres. Dr. Rufino Montero is happy that GSFDC received ratification from the Registrar Department on Friday. The GFA has their uh, training program, their grassroots training program, which was then assisted by the ASOP. Uh, would you look to partner in this or would you look to have something on a parallel lines or like a different uh, center of excellence in, in a SAG center of sorts? See, wherever the GFA is operating, we would not like to interfere in those areas. Okay. Wherever GFA has not managed to reach because Goa is a big uh, place as far as football is concerned because every nook and corner in Goa, the youth play football. And uh, there are so many schools spread to the length uh, and breadth of Goa. So wherever GFA has not reached, we will uh, go. Wherever GFA is in uh, uh, attendance with their programs of the grassroots development, we will not like to compete or interfere with it. Because as I've always said, we are only here to complement each other, not to compete with each other. Because we are all working for the sake of football in Goa. Uh, when can you see uh, the first uh, program of sorts kicking off? Uh, I know you said that you are waiting for the office to come and ina be inaugurated, but uh, realistically on ground, when do you see the first program in the first centre kicking off? I think in a, a month or two, okay. the first centre should kick off. Finally, our uh, Goa State Football Development Council is an official body, having been registered with the registrar. Mm. And uh, we have already announced the council. We have also got our premises, which is being readied. For any particular reason, you've included a couple of journalists in your council? Well, journalists are always the backbone for the success of any organization, especially in its infancy stage. And since we are just beginning this new organization, we definitely need the support of the media for constructive criticism. Mithum Karfulari, sports reporter Nikhil Pereira from Kampal. Goan special athletes had proved in the 2011 Special Olympics there were no pushovers after winning scores of medals in Athens. One year down the line, special children slugged it out in a first-of-its-kind unified badminton festival at Kampal. Special Olympics Bharat organized this unique badminton festival in the state to encourage, challenge students by pitting them against the normal players. President of Special Olympics Bharat Victor Wiles told Prudent the 200-plus turnout shows the kind of enthusiasm to compete amongst the athletes. When one of Goa's best badminton coaches is seen being turned from left to right and side to side, he will have to acknowledge the level of talent on offer with Roy Athide's opponents. That happened on Saturday in unified badminton through specially constituted teams that featured a state player coach paired with a special athlete. Goa Special Olympics Bharat President Victor Vaz explains more. The Unified Games is a Special Olympic athlete along with uh, another athlete without disabilities. So they both partner against another uh, athlete and, uh, and a partner and they play the game. Basically the concept is to give them uh, confidence, make them feel that they are respected in society, make them feel that uh, they can play with others and uh, we increase their, uh, their uh, you know, the sphere of uh, what they can participate. Otherwise, they are the lot which is just despised by society. Society feels they can't do anything. But I'm trying to prove to the society that our special athletes can play games and they have won medals at the international event. So when they have won the medals at the international event, why can't they participate with the normal people? It's inclusion. We, today, the concept even under the right to education, they say inclusion. And we are including our special athletes in the, in the sports field. And uh, these field can be only in team events. So badminton has a team event, table tennis has a team event, swimming has a team event, football has got. So slowly I'm introducing it as a festival and then later on it will be games, it will be a competition. So uh, you, you have uh, always an unified sport, suppose I'm having football, I have a uh, five-a-side football, three would be athletes and two would be partners, that is a normal person. So this way we are having a wide, uh, you know, avenues for these athletes to participate and showcase their talents. That is why this uh, Special Olympics came out with this event of uh, Unified uh, Festival. Victor Vaz and Special Olympic Bharat's endeavour surely seems to be bearing fruit. 
and it's the special athletes and their parents who need to be thanked for coming out in large numbers. With Omkar Fulari, sports reporter Nikhil Pereira from Kampal. If you have missed our bulletin, log on to www.prudentmedia.in or follow us on Twitter at Prudent Goa or meet us on Facebook at facebook.com slash prudentmedia. And with this, we have come to an end of this news bulletin. Keep watching Prudent Media. Have a great weekend up ahead. Goodbye.